Good morning my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my full morning routine. So today's routine is a little bit more relaxing than my usual weekday. This is more of a weekend relaxing morning routine where I have a little bit more time to give myself the extra TLC in the morning and just make myself feel really good and do everything in a more of like a slower manner. So first things first, I always get up, put my slippers and my dressing gown on, open the curtains and make the bed. Every single day I make the bed, I feel like it's really good to complete the first task of the day as soon as you wake up and then it's all ready for you when you get back in it later. that's done I'm then gonna head downstairs open the curtains put all the cozy lights on let the dogs out for a wee and just feel really lovely I'm loving autumn at the moment it's one of my favorite times of the year of course I love Christmas too but it's just so cozy and I love all the crisp mornings we are silver I'm then going to head into the kitchen and light one of my favourite candles at the moment. I picked this one up from HomeSense and it honestly smells incredible. I love lighting candles no matter what time of day. I feel like it just completely sets the mood and the scent always reminds me of a certain time of the year. So every single morning I always unload the dishwasher, the most boring job in the world, but it's got to be done and then I can start on with making my coffee and my breakfast. We were once inseparable, we were closer than two of a kind, the bond was almost palpable. So for today's breakfast, me and Bradley decided to have a little bit of a treat. I get these frozen croissants from Tesco's. They are unbelievable because they're completely frozen. You pop them in the oven and it's literally like you've baked them fresh without all the mess. So this is definitely a Saturday treat that we love to indulge and have. Not every Saturday, but if we're feeling a little bit special, we will. And then I thought I could make us a coffee. I've got this new coffee maker but I don't think I'm a fan, so I don't think I'm gonna use it again. But it was a lot more easy to make than how I usually make it, but it definitely wasn't as strong. So I think I'm gonna to stick to my old ways. And then I'm gonna pop everything on the tray once it's all done in the oven and then head into the lounge. Yes.
we've had our breakfast Bradley actually headed upstairs to have a shower so I was just finishing enjoying my morning coffee on the sofa watching some telly I'm not gonna lie I do have the Christmas channel on <laughs> I love it so much it makes me feel so happy and warm it's just the best thing ever and then after I've had that little bit of me time I'm gonna head into the kitchen clean up any mess that I made and then I can obviously the floor of my sink I feel like this is the best thing to do every single season I love how they come out with all the different scents because it always reminds me of a certain time of the year and I just love the winter scents so I always the floor every single morning because not only does it disinfect your cloths it actually makes your whole house smell insane. heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness Ooh, There's no point cause we both know I'm then going to head upstairs and lay my clothes out for the day. I've always done this. I find it so much easier because after you shower, you don't have to rush around and pick what you want to wear for the day. It's all laid out for you. And I just feel like it's a lot more easier and organised that way. Of course, I've got my Body Shop Vanilla Pumpkin Body Butter, which is just the most beautiful thing ever. And my slippers because I do work from home and I want my feet to be all lovely and toasty and warm. So after it's all laid out, I'm then going to head upstairs into the bathroom, brush my teeth and then head into the shower. Times will come again When the wind is blowing in my direction Still I can't ignore the pain It's the only thing that tells me I'm breathing today is vanilla pumpkin from the body shop of course like i've mentioned a million times before i'm so specific on the scents that i like to use especially seasonal scents for different times of the year because it really reminds me of it it makes me feel all warm and happy and i love it so much so after my shower i'm then going to pop my robe on and then do a face mask this is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Soothing Mask and this is beautiful. It's really lightweight but it honestly makes your skin feel really soft afterwards and it's nice to have again that extra little bit of me time in the morning. I didn't keep it on for too long because I did need to get on with some work even though it was a weekend but it did feel really lovely and soothing on my skin. So I had the mask on for about 10 minutes, usually I like to keep it on for around 20 but I did have work to do today, even though it was a Saturday, always got work to do. So after the face mask was on, I then cleansed my skin, I did do it in the shower as well before and it's important to do it after as well, just to get all the mask out of your pores. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. I then like to get dressed and ready for the day and then I'm also going to pop on my Body Shop Vanilla Pumpkin Body Balm which is just the most beautiful product ever. Oh, when the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sunshine in 
in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke after I am dressed for the day, I'm then going to head to my desk and get on with some work. I actually felt like a no makeup day today, which I do have a lot. I just didn't feel like popping any makeup on. I put a little bit of moisturiser on my face just so my skin can breathe and just have a lovely no makeup day. I'm then going to grab my five minute journal. This is such an amazing journal if you're feeling like you're in a bit of a funk and you want a really easy way to write your gratitudes down. Writing your daily gratitudes down is the most amazing thing to do and I highly recommend it. Whether you jot it down in a journal like this or on some paper, it's really important to write down what you're actually grateful for in your life. It makes you look at life in a completely different perspective. You can stay grounded that way and just feel a lot happier within yourself and everything you've got in your life. So I really recommend it. After I have written in that, I am then going to get on with some more work on my computer, of course, as always, and just spend the rest of the morning doing this. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully enjoying it. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and I would love to see you guys for my next one. Bye.